Hey guys, it's Anissa. Welcome back to my channel. So today I'm going to be walking you guys through my curly hair routine and everything that I do. So just keep on watching. The first thing that I do is pre-shampooing. Basically what I'm doing is conditioning my hair before I shampoo it just so I know that there is some type of moisture in my hair because I'm the type of person when I shampoo my hair, I like it to be super clean, but I also don't want it to be dry. So what I'm doing right now is taking coconut oil and I'm gonna section my hair off. And what I'm gonna do is apply the coconut oil to my scalp and then run it down the rest of my hair shaft and kind of finger detangle my hair. And this also will cut down time in the shower that way I don't have to fight with my hair. <laughs> After I've gotten all the tangles and knots and mess out of my hair, all I'm gonna do is make sure that a lot of coconut oil is applied and I'm gonna twist it up and move on to the next section. After I finished my whole head, so it kind of depends what you want to do. I usually leave it in for only about one or two hours. I know sometimes people will leave it in overnight, but I leave my deep conditioner in overnight. So I just do this for like an hour or two and I'll clean, do laundry, whatever, and then I'll come back. So about two hours has gone by now and we have relocated to the shower. All I'm doing now is undoing my little twisty twists. Next, I'm going to be taking this Aussie Deep Moisture Hello Hydration Conditioner. And what I love about this conditioner is the amount of slip that it has. It makes it absolutely so easy to detangle your hair, even though I already did detangle my hair. Um, now that it's wet, I just want to make sure that everything is tangle-free before I put shampoo in my hair. So after running that through my hair, I'm just going to be washing it out. And next is shampoo, and this is one of my favorite shampoos lately. It's by Ren Pure and it's the detoxifying charcoal shampoo and what I love about this is it's plant-based and it also has a more minty cooling feeling which is something that I do look for when I'm shampooing my hair just because it makes my scalp feel so light and fresh and tingly. Another thing as I'm shampooing you can see I'm just applying the shampoo to my scalp and I'm making sure I'm rubbing it in. I'm not rubbing it all over my hair your, the rest of your hair will get clean when you run it under the shower, but where most of my product filled up is, is on my scalp. Giving myself a nice, lovely, relaxing scalp massage. All I'm doing now is rinsing out my shampoo, and I make sure that I get all of the shampoo out, actually, absolutely all of it. I don't want any left in my hair, so I'm going to stand under the shower for a hot minute and just make sure I have absolutely no suds in my hair or anything else. What I'm going to be doing next is something new that I have decided to incorporate into my routine. I'm using this Ren Pure Apple Cider Vinegar. It's like a scalp cleanser, it, almost like a rinse. And I've just seen a big difference ever since I've been using this based on the fact that it really does add a really nice shine to the hair and that's something that apple cider vinegar in general does but what i like about this is that it's a little bit steady and you can also apply it directly to your scalp because of the applicator so the first time i used it i used a lot <laughs> like way too much this is literally all you need is just to run it down your scalp i do the front vertically and the back horizontally and i just massage my scalp again and then I will rinse. 
My last step in the shower is conditioner, and although I do use a deep conditioner also, I just find it more beneficial. I'm already in the shower, and while I'm shaving my legs, doing face mask, washing my body, I will use a regular conditioner, and the one I'm using right now, it is made by the brand Raw Sugar, and this specific conditioner is the Really and Truly conditioner, and it has avocado, honey, and a few other ingredients, and what I'm doing I found that after I shampoo my hair, it does tend to get a little bit more tangly just because of all the friction and movement. So I'm just running this through my hair and then I will put it up in a bun and do all my the rest of my shower stuff and hop out. After I'm done showering, I don't even know how long I've been doing this for, but I always wrap my hair in a cotton t-shirt. Once someone told me like how bad towels were for your hair, I absolutely never, ever, 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 ever even thought about putting them on my hair they cause so much breakage so much frizz like nothing good comes out of using a towel so just use this i use a super big t-shirt that i own but next is deep conditioning and this is an oldie but a goodie and i just rebought this because i forgot how much i loved it it's the macadamia deep repair moisture mask and it's a little bit on the pricier side but it is definitely so so worth it and what I'm doing is sectioning my hair in half and I'm going to take the bottom half and split that section into two and then apply the deep conditioner and I will repeat the same steps on the top of my hair. Now that I have thoroughly distributed deep conditioner throughout my whole head, I'm just going to twist it up, put it in a bun, and I will usually put a plastic bag over my head and then a bonnet and it's time to go to sleep. So I will see you guys in the morning. It is now the next morning, so good morning kitties. <laughs> so, um, <coughs> ooh. Um, all I did was hop in the shower real fast and I rinsed all the deep conditioner out of my hair, but as you can see my hair is soaking wet and I think this is the thing that I have taken with me throughout all of my hair journey and what has helped my curls the most is when you are styling your hair you want it to be as absolutely drenching soaking wet as it possibly can be because your hair is just going to take in all that product into the hair shop. What I'm doing this part is a little bit different than the rest. I take the very bottom of my hair and divide it into two super small sections because this part of my hair gets absolutely so tangled, so knotty, and I feel like it's a little bit drier than the rest of my hair. So I'm going to first use this, leave this it's a conditioner by Shea Moisture, it's the Manuka and Honey, but I've always found that conditioners work better on my hair than leave-ins do. When it comes to styling my hair, I have three different steps. So first is leave-in, which you've already seen. Then it is oil, and then my styler, which is my gel. So I'm just working this into my hair. And next I'm using, right now I'm using a Jamaican black castor oil. I kind of use a little bit of everything. I've used argan oil, I've used coconut oil. What this is going to do is not going to create so much a barrier, but it's going to lock in the moisture that you just put into your hair. The very last step is my styler and right now I'm using this multivitamin soft curl gel cream. So it's a gel but it's also like a cream. It's not straight up gel. It's literally a gel cream. And I just take the littlest tiny bit of this and put we'll put that in that one little section and then I will repeat this on my whole head. But for the rest of my hair I will use sections that are about this size rather than the super teeny tiny ones that I was using before. The last two tips that I think have really made a difference is number one, like you can see me doing right now, just ensuring that your sections are completely soaking wet and drenched, and also making sure that you're not so much styling your hair with a part. I kind of style my hair all to the back of my head. That way, when I make my part, I have a lot more volume and my hair isn't stuck to one side of my head. So if I want to change up my part, I can because it kind of dried straight back rather than to the side. All in all, washing my hair really is about a one day process, but it's only something that I do once a week and it really, 
I I've just seen such a difference in my hair when I set aside the time and then I lied I have one more tip what as you can see what I'm doing to the front of my hair is I'm taking my curls and I'm finger twisting them and what this does is encourages your hair to follow its natural hair pattern and will create less frizz as you can see I'm completely done with my head the last thing that I do before I let my hair dry is I'm going to use some eco styler gel on my edges just to make sure you know their sister slayed and as my hair is drying I do not touch it at all whatsoever don't even mess with it it was just going to create more frizz just let it dry and you will be good time lapse to about nine hours later so my hair is completely dry this hairstyle will last me about a week if I keep up with it refresh it every night I hope you guys enjoyed and maybe learned a thing or two that could help you with your own hair so if you guys want to see more hair videos let me know uh, thank you for watching and I will see you next week Bye.